I'm Devin Gonzalez and uh, what we're going to be dealing today with uh, high-low adjustments on your front derailleur and that's going to be usually dealing with these two little screws here you see usually up in your front derailleur so uh, what you're going to need is a mainly a Phillips <coughs> and uh, an Allen wrench to make your proper adjustment for your cable tension now to get started what you first need to do is um, what we're going to do is we're going to bring our chain all the way up to our biggest cog in the rear okay so let's go up alright now that I'm on my biggest cog what I need to do now is come down to my smallest cog in my front derailleur alright so now I'm gonna drop that all the way down alright <clears throat> now <clears throat> what I need to, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to loosen the cable tension that I have so uh, you grab your Allen wrench and let's loosen that tension all right now that it's loose we're going to come back to our limits <clears throat> our high limit is uh, in the front derailleur is going to usually mean that that's dealing with your bigger cog up the front your low limit is going to be dealing with your lower cog. Now that you have your uh, chain lined up with the bigger cog in the back and the smaller cog, what you need to do is come to your low limit here, and this will make the adjustment on your front derailleur. But before you do this, what you need to do is to see that your front derailleur is at the uh, perfect height, and the way you do that is you're going to pull <clears throat> your front derailleur. As you can see, I'm doing that. And what you need to look for right here, as you line up with the bigger cog, it needs to be almost three millimeters from your top teeth ring. All right, so that looks pretty good. And if it's not, then what you need to do is make the adjustment to loosen your front derailleur and either pull it up and make that proper adjustment where it's three millimeters from your bigger cog teeth ring. All right, so. We're looking good here, so we're going to come back to our low limit, and what you need to do, I'm going to show you here, is you can see the chain is hitting against the front derailleur. Now, as you uh, back out your, your uh, front screw here on your lower limit, this will make the front derailleur move towards the back. As you do this, you need to have almost a 2 millimeter gap with your chain in your front derailleur. And when you've uh, accomplished that, all right, so we're all good here, you need to come back to your cable tension and tighten it. But before you do that, you also want to come up to your, uh, your shifter and uh, screw it in all the way, your barrel adjustment. And then after you've uh, adjusted your barrel in all the way, you want to just do two clicks out. Then we'll come back to our cable here, and I'm going to pull on it nice and tight, and I'm going to tighten it up. Alright, now that I've done that, <clears throat> we're going to go up through the gears. Should be going smooth. Now uh, let's drop that, uh, where I'm at the bigger cog in the rear, I want to drop it all the way down to the smallest cog now. Alright. Now that I'm in the smallest cog, I need to move the front derailleur all the way up to the bigger cog now. Good. So now <clears throat> I'm going to come to my high limit and I'm going to look at my chain here and my front derailleur. And the same thing being on the bottom, I want to have that two millimeter gap. So to do this, I'm just going to back it out just a little bit. And you're looking good. So I'm going to drop it to see, make sure it's dropping properly. And to do this, to go through all your main gears in the front, what you want to do is come up to your middle cog in the rear. Because that is the ideal cog to check all your gears up front. So now I'm going to make sure it just, it's dropping all, all the way to the lowest gear. And then I'm going to go up. Thank you. 
So if you have a little bit of hesitation, that can also be just doing with just a little bit of a more of a proper adjustment with your limits. And uh, it also could be just your cable tension, so you can also just back out your bar barrel adjustment on your shifter, and that will actually help you out as well. So there it is. And you've just uh, learned how to adjust your high-low limits on your front derailleur. And that was your video tech tip of the day. Thank you.